Hello and welcome to the news in Bahrain International with me, Keith Johnston. The Deputy Prime Minister, His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Mubarak Al Khalifa, chaired the weekly cabinet meeting at Gadebia Palace. The cabinet commended His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa's visit to Saudi Arabia. It noted the outcome of the talks held between His Majesty and the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, on furthering strategic cooperation and coordination across all fields to achieve common interests. The Cabinet highlighted the joint statement issued following His Majesty's visit and its affirmation of the Al Ula Declaration. This includes elements of economic collaboration and shared defence and security systems to enhance the solidarity and stability of the GCC countries and strengthen their role by unifying policy to promote the growth and development of the GCC states and unity among its members. The Cabinet commended the outcomes of the official visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the United States including the talks he held with senior U.S. officials. The Cabinet noted that the talks have affirmed the strength of the Bahrain-U.S. strategic partnership, as well as the importance of increasing bilateral cooperation and coordination to meet shared aspirations, which include strengthening regional and international security and stability, peace and development. The Cabinet noted the agreements and MOUs announced during the visit that will create a productive environment for economic, commercial and investment cooperation, that will enhance bilateral trade across various fields, including the industrial, logistics, space sciences and digital information sectors. To mark International Women's Day, the Cabinet highlighted the achievements made in the field of Bahraini women's advancement, reflecting the successes of the programmes adopted by the Supreme Council for Women, chaired by Her Royal Highness, the wife of His Majesty the King and President of the Supreme Council for Women, Princess Abika bint Ibrahim Al Khalifa. The Cabinet welcomed the UN Security Council's decision to renew sanctions in Yemen, as well as its designation of the Houthis for the first time as a terrorist group, and including them in Yemen's sanctions list, as well as imposing an arms embargo on Yemen. The Cabinet noted that this decision will limit the capabilities of the Houthi t terrorist militia and help to foster regional and international security. The Cabinet discussed a number of memorandums during the meeting with the following outcomes. The approval of the following memorandums. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding two draft decisions amending provisions of the law regarding excise goods as well as a distinctive mark that its registrant is obliged to place on these goods and their control provisions. A memorandum by the Minister of Foreign Affairs and Restructuring of the National Committee on the Prohibition of the Development, Production, Stockpile and Use of Chemical Weapons and their Destruction. A memorandum by the Ministerial Committee for Legal and Legislative Affairs regarding the government's response to two proposals submitted by the Council of Representatives. The Cabinet reviewed the following topics. A memorandum by the Minister of Foreign Affairs regarding the projects implemented by the Ministry within the 2019 to 2022 government programme and the percentage of completion of 23 projects aimed at developing diplomatic and consular work. The Cabinet took note of ministerial reports regarding Bahrain's participation in the 39th session of the Arab Interior Minister's Council, the outcomes of the visit made by the Prime Minister's Special Representative, a Minister for South and Central Asia in the United Nations and the Commonwealth at the Foreign Commonwealth and Development Office, Lord Ahmed Tariq Ahmed, to Bahrain. Bahrain's participation in the 26th EU GCC Joint Council and Ministerial Meeting in the Mobile World Congress was additionally noted. The Cabinet also noted the foreign engagements of Ministers and the visits of foreign delegations for the month of March 2022 and the events that Bahrain will host from March 2022 to May 2022. The National Security Advisor and Royal Guard Commander, Major General His Highness Sheikh Nas bin Hamad Al Khalifa, attended the Royal Guard's graduation ceremony. Then His Highness Sheikh Nasser inspected the parade and a presentation was given by the graduates, which included the military march. His Highness Sheikh Nasser was briefed on the practical military exercises and scientific skills carried out during the course. He praised the graduates' military skills and stressed the continuous support of the Supreme Commander, His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. 
His Highness Sheikh Nasser expressed thanks to the trainers and graduates for their efforts and encouraged them to continue to uphold the values of determination, patience and sacrifice in defending their homeland. He honoured the outstanding graduates and wished them success. The Minister of Interior, General Sheikh Rashid bin Abdullah Al Khalifa, received US Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defence for the Middle East, Dan Estrol, and accompanying delegation in the presence of the Chief of Public Security, Lieutenant General Tarek Al Hassan, and President of Customs, Sheikh Ahmed bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Minister welcomed their visit, which aims to reinforce solid ties and strategic partnership between Bahrain and the US to protect regional security. He highlighted the main aspects of Bahrain's humanitarian project of alternative penalties and open prisons programme, adding that the project comes as part of the royal vision of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa. General Sheikh Rashid stressed the importance of the visit of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, to the US and its positive impacts and ties between the two countries. He hailed the cooperation and coordination in counter-terrorism and the development of Coast Guard capabilities to reinforce maritime security and safety. He noted the continuation of joint work and exchange of expertise between the two countries in facing regional and international security challenges. For her part, the US Deputy Assistant Secretary of Defence expressed thanks and appreciation of the US to Bahrain for its support of the US Fifth Fleet, healing the cooperation between the two countries in promoting regional security. The two sides reviewed security cooperation and coordination reinforcement and the development of customs agreements and MOUs to serve the interests of the two friendly countries. The national vaccination campaign continues to witness a wide turnout of citizens and residents. The Ministry of Health announced that 1,231,415 had taken the first dose of the vaccine, while 1,213,212 had taken the second 966,663 had taken the booster dose. The Ministry renewed its call for the community to commit to all precautionary measures and take the initiative to register for the coronavirus vaccination. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of active coronavirus cases reached 19,632 with 2,088 recoveries and 1,964 registered new cases. There are 36 active cases receiving treatment and 12 patients in a critical condition. The Ministry urges everyone to comply with the guidelines issued by the National Task Force for Combating the Coronavirus.